In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can import a journal entry in batch from a text, Excel or IIF file into QuickBooks Online using Access Online. So I've logged into my Access Online account and I'm going to create a new X for the upload. So I give the X a name. And then I select where the um, data is coming from. In this case, it's an, a sample text file that I have. So here, this contains the journal entries that I want to upload. And I select it here and then click Save. And you'll see that the file has been uploaded. I'll click Next. And then I'm going to say whenever a file is uploaded, for this type of X, I'm going to create a journal entry. Now this third step is where I'm going to map the columns in the import file to the columns or fields in my QuickBooks um, company file. What you'll notice is these are um, divided into sections for header and for the table details. So the header and you have mouse overs here to tell you what type of field they are and what data it's looking for. So I'm going to put in the description against here. If it has an exclamation mark like this, it is a mandatory field. So uh, I need the line account, which is the GL account that we're posting to. I'm going to need the debit amount and the credit. And that's all the key information that we need um, for importing a journal entry. So I'm going to um, scroll down and save the mapping. Um, you can also get the option here is just to see the map fields that we've mapped to give you an idea of what can be bring, brought in. You can apply constant values to these as well as search and replace functions and so on. And you'll see in this furthest right hand column a preview of the, de the first row of data that will be imported. So we're going to click on next and you'll see a, um, an overview of all the fields that are contained within the journal entry and where they're going to import. So I can at this stage, I can edit some of this detail. I can um, edit uh, before we actually go ahead and import. But if once it's everything that we need and we're happy with that, we can go ahead and click Import QuickBooks. The data be validated, and then it will begin a process of importing directly into your QuickBooks Online company file. And once it's finished, you'll see a summary overview of the journals that you've imported. And if we click on view, it will take us to QuickBooks and will show us the detail of that journal that we've just imported. So you can go through and check that if you need to. So that's simply how you can use Z-Axis to import um, journal entries from text, IIF or Excel files directly into your QuickBooks online company file.